situation, end of turn 4, September 1914. This will be the end of the turn by turn reports because the war is slowing down now. Everybody is basically running out of ammunition. The, the Western Front isn't too bad, but um, most the, the Eastern Front is really, really, and the Galatian Front are, so, are suffering badly, uh, as is the situation in Serbia. So um, the turns will start getting a lot faster until people can start getting, getting their supply of ammunition up to a sensible level, uh, which probably won't happen for a few months now. Um, Situation up in, near Antwerp is yeah, Germans are still trying to, to batter down Antwerp's forts and capture it, but they're suffering from ammunition shortages. Uh, their big guns aren't really being able to be used properly. Um, situation a bit further south, um, the Germans ha they've had one attack that went in this term but they weren't able to gain a hex but uh, there was quite a bit of carnage there um, around Mesians. Um as I say things are quietening down now because there just isn't isn't the supplies to, to do anything in the east in East Prussia Germans are Gradually forcing the Russians to fall back. Uh, situation in Poland around Warsaw areas. The, the, the Germans are getting closer to Warsaw, but the Russians are getting stronger and they're beginning to suffer ammunition shortages as well. Uh, looks like Wodz has, has fallen, or will do next turn. Because the Russian army there just completely collapsed because it hadn't got any supplies at all. Um, front along Galicia is pretty much static. People just entrenching or, or the Russians are trying to move as many units as they can to Poland without jeopardising the, uh, the front. Um, Serbia is very quiet at the moment. Um, the probably the Austrians might have another snipe at the, the Serbian positions, try and nip off some some territory, do do a few casualties. Uh, Montenegrin front is basically static. There's a trench marker there that needs removing. And that's it.